Hello guys, my name is Kunal. I am security consultant at Redfox Security. In today's videos, we are going to dive into powerful tool used in cybersecurity, Mimikaz. We will learn what it is, how it works, and how credentials are stored in Windows memory. Finally, we will perform a live demo to dump the credentials using Mimikaz from the SAM and ALSYS process. So let's get started. First, we will understand what is Mimikaz. Mimikaz is a well-known post exploitation tool used by penetration tester and attackers. It was developed by Benjamin and is primarily used to extract plain text passwords, hashes and Kerberos tickets from Windows memory. It can be used for password recovery, pass the hash attacks and even dumping credentials from Windows systems. It is popular in both red teaming and black hat operations. It is also widely used in blue, used by blue teamers. It can also be used for, for other tasks like manipulating privileges, exporting certificates, and performing pass the hash or pass the ticket attacks, making it a powerful tool in a penetration testing. To understand how Mimikaz works, we first need to understand how Windows stores credentials in memory. So basically, when you log into Windows machine, your credentials are temporarily stored in memory. This allows Windows to authenticate the user without repeatedly asking for login inf information. There are few places where Windows store these credentials. One is ALSES and second one is SAM. ALSES is basically a critical process in Microsoft Windows operating system, responsible for enforcing security policies on your system. It ha handles various crucial tasks including verifying user logins. When, when you log into Windows account, ALSES check your username and password against the system records to ensure they are valid or not. And second one is SAM, stand for Security Account Manager. Basically, SAM store has password for local accounts in Windows registry. It does not store plain text passwords, but Mimikaz can extract hashes from the SAM. Now let's dive on to the fun part, dumping credentials using Mimikaz. First, we have to download the Mimikaz binary. We can download it from uh, their official or any other GitHub repo. As I know that there is a GitHub repo from ParrotSec, they have Mimikaz. Uh, there is a ParrotSec Mimikaz. Just download it as zip. First, you have to disable the antivirus and the real-time protection just uh, go to virus and threat protection settings many setting and turn off the real-time protection Now your Mimikaz will download. Mm. Extract here. Uh, now our binary will be located in x64 and here is our Mimikaz binary. Now let's open CMD as an administrator. Navigate to the Mimikaz folder. First, we need to disable the antivirus or check if it is disabled or not. Uh, as, as, I, as we can see that the real-time protection is enabled, first we have to disable it. Now, let's check where is your binary. Now, load the Mimikaz binary. Type the following command 
privilege debug basically this command grants debug debugging privilege to the mimic as now let's dump the encryption keys from the else's to dump the encryption keys from the else's we can use the following command sec urlsa e keys e keys stand for encryption keys as we can see that the mimic as is dumping the all encryption keys from the mem memory basically from the else's we can see for some interesting usernames uh, we have to look for it we can see the username tara and their hash credentials in aes256 format and the ndlm format is here the username tara and the ndlm hash of the tara is this one we can look up for many other hashes of username The first one is for administrator, which belongs to Fox DC domain. There is another user named Sara. So, uh, Sara credentials can be found here, which is AES two fifty six keys and the NTLM. We can verify that using crack map exec first we need to gather the ip of this machine open your kali box and type the following command to verify if the credentials is valid or not uh, just check the ip this is 10.0.2.5 and the NTLM has is this one just copy it and remember the IP type the username and to specify the hash type hyphen capital H and then paste the hash which we copied from the CMD and press enter as we can see that the username is valid and the following host is showing as pond that that's mean the that that user is a administrator on that current host now to dump the sam hashes from the sam database we can use the following command lsa dump sam basically sam store local accounts password in their database but it does not store clear text passwords uh, as we can see we we got error and it's showing that it's actually not anything showing but uh, according to my experience i know that why this error is happening so basically we have to elevate elevate our privilege to system basically we are a, a, now administrator and we have to escalate our privilege to system for that type the following command token elevate this command will elevate your privilege to system authority now you can see your privilege, privilege is escalated to anti authority system now we can dump the sam data <laughs> dot, database now press enter as you can see the following command dump the hashes from the sam database we can see the local administrator and the hash of the local administrator is this uh, i think there are not any other local local users there is also credentials of tara user now we can verify the credentials of local administrator user using crack map exec now let's copy the uh, administrator has ntlm has and 
go to your kali machine and just replace the following command with administrator and replace the hash with administrator for local auth you we have to use the local auth local auth flag uh, as we can see that it, it is showing the account is disabled so basically we cannot authenticate to that account okay we can try for the other account which is tara just copy the tara credentials i think it was here okay here it is as we have dumped the credentials from the sam database this account tara belongs to local users on the system let's copy the ntlm hash of the tara user and let's go to the kali machine replace the user with tara and replace the hash with tara user hash and we will use the um, hyphen hyphen local auth flag because we are using the credentials from the sam database just press enter and as we can see the accounts are valid um, for to check the why why administrator account shows that this account has been disabled we can go to our windows machine and check if this account is disabled or not just go to users and users and groups click on users and check yes as we can see there is a down arrow to the administrator icon which shows the account is disabled and we can also confirm from here that the account is disabled just uncheck it and apply and click ok let's try if we can now authenticate as administrator user just copy the this line and paste it okay as we can see the account credentials are now showing valid and it is not, not it is not showing that the account is disabled now and that's it we have covered the basic of mimic as how windows store credentials in memory the type of credential storage and how to dump those credentials using mimic as if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more cyber security content thanks for watching stay safe out there